Hello. Hi, Nadia. Hi. I'm already Hi. excited. I know. I, I know, me too. too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are hosting a listening party for Goodnight Ganesha. And I'm going to share this with my newsletter friends because Chrissy had the foresight. Yes. Three years ago, <laughs> when we met for the very first time at our very first conference for SCBWI LA in 2018. So I'm going to let Chrissy take it away because oh God, you had the foresight to take it. I don't want to take it anywhere. Photo. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to pull up, I'm going to share screen and I'm going to pull up the photo of us reading Goodnight Ganesha for the very first time with me. And it was um, a very hilarious photo <laughs> because this is the first time we've ever met. This is my room at the hotel and Terry jumped into my bed. <laughs> no. like, girls I'm tired <laughs> and I said okay can, can I read you my bedtime story and you and Chrissy were like yeah sure and here I am reading and then Chrissy what did you do next oh my gosh I well first of all look at your the smile on your face and I love this moment because it's to me it's a very magical moment and it, a whole bunch of things were happening at this time. And of course, you know, me, the photographer in me needs to document everything, but I actually don't document everything. But this moment was interesting because here we are hours old into meeting each other. Hours, right? Terry, like we met earlier that evening and we bonded instantly. And then you were sharing this work. And to me, as a new writer, at the time, I was like, wow, she's reading a story out loud to strangers, which is very hard to do when you're a writer. You're like bearing your soul. You're, it's like your um, love and joy. And you're like, you know, worried about it. But you were so happy. I felt so honored. But look at Terry. You're like literally asleep in her bed. That's how comfortable you were. And here I, I am totally taking photos of it. because <laughs> I know. Because Nadia, I knew the very first line of the story that the story would be amazing. And I know that people say that's cliche and whatever, but why else would I take out my camera, meeting you guys for the first time, here you're reading this story. I don't know, it just felt special at the time. And I can't explain why really more than that, but I, I, I told you it's a great story and we all kind of felt it. And yeah. here it is, this photo resurfaces how many years later? Yeah, three years later. Not even that many years later. No. But you had, but it was just something magical about it. And you were like, I'm going to take the photo. I don't care what you guys think. I know this is going to come back. And we were like, yeah, okay, whatever, Chrissy. You're just like in love with the camera. That's fine. I'm not even in front of the camera. No, you're not. <laughs> I know. I'm so bummed that you're not in the picture, Chrissy, because you were I such a too. part of that evening. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I just want to say that I had met Nadia at Big Sur. Yes. before this conference mm -hmm. and had connected with her and just thought, oh my God, this woman is so talented. I want to get to know her. So to reconnect at that conference was magical. Mm -hmm. And when you asked us to go back to your room to, to listen to this, I was just like, oh my God, I am so tired. I don't think I can do this. And then when you started reading I just knew it was something special. It's good night, Terry, not good night, Ganesha. It's good night, Terry. <laughs> good night, Terry. <laughs> well, you know what the funny thing is, too? Like, that room has two beds in it, right? And you could have hopped in and, and, and you know, listened from the other bed, but you were like, no, I'm just going to snuggle up close and I'm going <laughs> to listen. And it just felt, like, so comfortable for us to do that. So Yeah. yeah. And look at us now. I mean, we've collaborated yeah. on so many projects. Yes. And we are still in a writing group together. And yeah. I think it's the power of supporting people right away. When you see someone working so hard at a goal, it's really important to uh, lift everyone, right? And yeah. we, as tired as we were, look at you. I mean, honestly, how can you say <laughs> no to you, Nadia? Come on. <laughs> and I look at that face. I was like, oh my God. I know. You were so proud and excited to be sharing this story. And rightfully so. Yeah. You knew it was you knew it was special. And 
we all knew after we heard it that it was going to go somewhere. So to be your debut picture mm -hmm. book, it's super, super special. Okay, you guys. Hey, you ready? Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. So I'm going to hit play. And this is the first time we're hearing the audio recording of Good Night, Ganesha. And it's read by Kimberly Singh. There, by the window, themes warmth in a frame. With wisdom in hand, Ganesha is his name. The giver of good luck and hope just the same. He watches as we play our fun good night game. Good night, window. Good night, frame. Good night, Ganesha. Watching our game. What was your you know, honest opinion and like feeling when you first heard Kim's voice read this? It was just, it was so beautiful. It just seemed like it was meant to be for her to read that story. It just, it fit. It was, um, she just has a nice calming voice and such a, a sweet voice for a good night story. And the way she read it, it's like, yeah, I want to crawl into bed again and 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 hear this story. Absolutely. Yeah, it's just amazing. And how about you, Chrissy? What do you think? Oh, I mean, I, I think being a voice actor is very hard because you're matching the voice with the words, right? And I think that what what she what Kim did a great job of doing is I have read that story many times. We have critiqued it together many times. And there is a voice in there besides your own voice, Nadia. There, there is the voice actor. I can see it's hard to place the right voice actor. And to me, I do feel like she is the right voice. It is all of the things that you said. And it, it doesn't take you away from the words. You, you hear the words, but you also hear her voice. She's, it's not like removing you from the setting. She, I would love to meet her in person. She's so soft, you know? She's, she's very cool. I, yeah. I, I, really, I really dig her vibe and her energy. And uh, she had sent a message after she had done the reading. And it was just um, very heartfelt. And, you know, this yeah. is really important, too, because um, the story seems to ring true for a lot of South Asians because, you know, uh, representation matters. And it's a bedtime yes, story yes. that features India. It's a bedtime story that features an Indian American child. And, you know, the bedtime routines that, you know, we have overseas versus the traditional, you know, wh whatever traditional would be really uh, bedtime routine here, where there are certain things that we may do overseas that we don't normally do here. So it was just, you know, they were excited about um, you know, seeing saris in the book, talking about chai and like doing stuff in the puja room. So uh, yeah, it just rings true for so many people who have read it so far. And that's how Kim felt. That's how Poonam felt when she illustrated the book. So um, it's exciting. And I can't wait, you know, uh, for the book to release. But I know that people can purchase the book on pre-order as well as the audio recording. And there may be... Um, an ebook as well. So there's just so much going on. It's kind of like you never know where your ideas or your stories are going to take you. It's just overwhelming. Tell us again the release date. The release date is August 31st. So it's literally the last day of the month. And I am hosting a virtual launch party for uh, Good Night Ganesha. I'm going to talk about that in both the newsletter and on launch day itself. And um, we're also going to have a party. So it's a social about 30 minutes following the event. So bring your glasses of, you know, whatever you want to drink, whether it's a mango lussi or, you know, a soda or what have you. Or champagne to celebrate. Champagne if you'd like, yes. <laughs> or white chocolate mocha in honor of someone who I know loves white chocolate mocha. <laughs> <laughs> Right. So, yeah, we plan to celebrate it. We plan to, um, I don't know, just have a good time. When How do I get the audio? Do I, is it downloadable? 
I believe it's downloadable. Like once you pre, like you can pre-order it, but I don't know if it's immediate or if it's going to be um, on the date of that is when it actually releases. But I do know it is available as an audiobook, and you can purchase it or you can listen to it like we did just now and uh, get a vibe, get a feel for it. So I'm super stoked. And thank you guys so much for stopping by for this little audio listening party. <laughs> thank you for inviting us. This was such a pleasure and a joy to be a part of. Well, yeah. I wouldn't be here without you guys. So that's right. Right. right Terry. And then we're doing this really too, because, <laughs> because Chrissy manifested this. You know what? I believe you guys manifest all sorts of good for me. We do this together. And, but you did all the hard work, Nadia. I mean, let's be real. You work really hard at this job. You spend your time, you research, you put out the best work products Absolutely. possible. You lift every voice up. You, this is a great story. People will love this book. I mean, and don't even take my word for it. I'm not just like saying it just to say it. People will, will see it and they will know that when they read it and they hear it because it's, yeah. it's a great book and we knew it would come because you feel it here, right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Here and, there. and you have such a great work ethic. I think you are our role model for all of us, Nadia, on how you get things done and your determination and... This came true, true fru to fruition because of your hard work. Yep. So congratulations. Yep.